to leap from one poison to another, this is a reference to subject matter and not uh, from the right end of the table to the left end of the table, uh, we, might, uh, we might go to the matter of fluoridation. Our, our resident expert on fluoridation is uh, Mr. David O. Woodbury, who is our resident uh, expert on things scientific almost across the board. Uh, David, uh, how heavily is fluoridation being pushed? How effectively? Is there a, is there a, is there a reaction against it? Uh, is there a, a positive, uh, is there some sort of positive note uh, for the anti-fluoridation forces? Well, fluoridation is a sleeper, and it seems rather a pity to wake it up in the midst of such an august gathering, but <clears throat> uh, I'll give it two minutes anyway. There's an interesting story in California about uh, Dr. Robert A. Millikan, who was, a, was, when he was alive, the president of Caltech, uh, a Nobel Prize winner uh, in the discovery of the charge on the electron. And uh, he, uh, he was a very irascible man, but a very vain one. And everybody around that neighborhood was very fond of him and very frightened of him. And the Glendale, uh, California Chamber of Commerce finally got up the courage to ask him to speak. And they got him over there one night uh, and introduced first the mayor and then the, the chairman of the board of aldermen and then the chairman of the uh, commission itself and went right down through the thing, spending the whole evening doing what uh, they thought was necessary. And then they introduced uh, Dr. Millikan and said that he would uh, tell them about his adventures with the electron. And he said, gentlemen, uh, you have told the story of my life so ably that there's no need of my repeating it. Good night. <laughs> and uh, that was the last they heard of him. Well, this is somewhat uh, what has happened to fluoridation in that uh, it is a sleeper. It's underneath and nobody pays much attention to it. Uh, it is a lethal uh, situation. I think all of us think who know anything about it at all. And I don't know terribly much. But the, it is one of the primary placings of the United States Department of Health, Education, and Welfare. In fact, it's the backbone of it because uh, therein lies the opportunity to uh, browbeat and uh, subvert the electorate entire. Now, at, the, at this moment, there are probably more than 85 or possibly 90 million people in this country who, for one reason or another, drink fluoridated water. Most of them don't know it. It was done in such a way that they didn't find out. Uh, the other 120 million odd breathe fluorine, drink it in tea, get it in garden product, get it in liquor, and I don't know how many other ways. So that the 100, uh, they get plenty. The 80 million get from one to three times too much. And too much, too much, uh, and too much is, uh, can be deadly in this particular field. And the purpose of it, uh, there's no doubt now, I think, the purpose of it is not to uh, improve teeth, but to improve obedience. And with that, I will leave you with the hope that you will, none of you will drink fluoridated water if you can possibly help it. Thank you. <laughs>